Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting and challenging quartic equation in easy way. Equation is x minus 4 whole square over 8 plus x minus 2 whole cube over 16 plus x power 4 over 32 equal to 1. We have to find out all possible real solutions. So let's get started. I will multiply both sides with 2 first. So let us multiply with 2 this side and this side also. So our equation will become x minus 4 whole square divided by 4 it will become plus x minus 2 whole cube divided by 2 over 16 so 8 in the denominator plus x power 4 divided by 16 and RHS will be 2. Now 4, 8 and 16. Can we write 4 as 2 square? Let us write x minus 4 whole square divided by 2 square plus x minus 2 whole cube divided by 2 cube plus x power 4 divided by 2 power 4. RHS is 2. Now, I will use one property of exponents. It is a power n divided by b power n. Then any time we can write a over b whole power n. So here we can write x minus 4 over 2 whole square plus x minus 2 over 2 whole cube plus x by 2 whole power 4 equal to. Let's write. I will write x minus 4 over 2 whole square plus x minus 2 over 2 whole cube plus x over 2 whole power 4 equal to now I will use substitution straight away. Let us consider x minus 2 over 2 equal to t. Now I will calculate x minus 4 over 2 and x by 2. So I can write x minus 4 over 2 in terms of t. So I can write x minus 2 minus 2 over 2. Now I can write x minus 2 over 2 minus 2 over 2 it is 1. So x minus 4 over 2 we can write it is t minus 1. Similarly I will be writing x by 2. It would be x minus 2 plus 2 over 2. Now I will split x minus 2 over 2 plus 2 over 2. Now x minus 2 over 2 is our substitution t. So I can write this is t plus 1. So our equation in terms of t, it will become t minus 1 whole square plus t cube plus t plus 1 whole power 4 and RHS is 2. Now I can expand using Pascal triangle expansion formula or I can use another substitution. Let us consider t plus 1 equal to some variable a. Let me write. Let me write equation first t minus 1 whole square plus t cube plus t plus 1 whole power 4 equal to. Now let us consider t plus 1 equal to a suppose. So I will be writing our equation as t minus 1 will be. If t plus 1 is a, 
then t minus 1 will be a minus 2 and t will be a minus 1. Let us put this value. So, I will be writing here a minus 2 whole square plus a minus 1 whole cube plus a power 4. Now, expansion is easy. a minus b whole square formula a square minus 4a plus 4 a minus b whole cube formula a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus a4 equal to 2. Now if I will simplify, I will write LHS as a power 4 plus a cube minus 2a square minus a plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quartic equation in A. Remember A is t plus 1. Now if I will add simply the coefficients of this equation, A equal to 1, if I will apply, then it will become one solution. So let us write this equation and solve using synthetic division method. A power 4 plus a cube minus 2a square minus a plus 1 equal to 0. If I will plug in a equal to 1, 1 plus 1 minus 2 minus 1 plus 1. So, 3 minus 3 equal to 0. That means a equal to 1 is our base solution. Now, I will use synthetic division method. Let me write here all the coefficients of quartic equation. Coefficient of a power 4, 1. Coefficient of a cube, 1. Coefficient of a square minus 2. Coefficient of a minus 1. Constant term, it is 1. Put one line over there. 1 would be as it is. Now let's multiply with the base solution. It is 1. So 1 times 1, 1. Addition will be 2. 1 times 2, 2. Addition will be 0. 1 times 0, 0. Addition will be negative 1. 1 times negative 1, negative 1. Here we will have 0. So these are coefficients for cubic equation. So I can write equation as a cube plus 2a square then 0a minus 1 equal to 0. This is cubic equation. I will solve this cubic equation using factorization method. Let me write here a cube plus 2a square minus 1 equal to 0. a cube plus 2a square minus 1 equal to 0. So I can split 2a square as a square plus a square. minus 1 equal to 0. Here I will take a square common. So in bracket I will be writing a plus 1. Here I will apply difference of 2 squares. So I can write a minus 1 times a plus 1. RHS is 0. Now a plus 1 is overall common. So I can write a square plus a minus 1 in the second bracket equal to 0. Now, I can write either a plus 1 will be 0 or a square plus a minus 1 will be 0. So, once I will solve this equation, I will be having a equal to negative 1. And if I will solve this quadratic equation, I will be writing here using quadratic formula minus b so minus 1 plus minus square root of b square 1 square is 1 minus 4ac plus 4 divided by 2a 2 minus 1 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2. 
or I can write a equal to minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 or minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now it's time to put back our substitution values. A was t plus 1. So let me write, first I will write the value of a. There are three values, minus 1. And the base solution is also our solution. That was a equal to 1. This was base solution. So let me write our a values first. I will write a equal to 1 minus 1. Then minus 1 plus root 5 over 2. And last solution was minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Now a was t plus 1. So let us put back the value of a t plus 1. So t plus 1 will be 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 and minus 1 minus root 5 over 2. Take away 1 from both sides. So I will get t. Now here I will write 1 minus 1. Here I will write minus 1 minus 1. Here I will write minus 1 plus root 5 over 2 minus 1. And here I will write minus 1 minus root 5 over 2 minus 1. Let us check what will come out. T equal to 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 1 minus 1, minus 2. Here I will be getting minus 1 minus 2. So minus 3 plus root 5 over 2. And here I will be getting minus 1 minus 2. So minus 3 minus root 5 over 2. Now we have to put back the value of t also. So t was x minus 2 over 2. So here I will be writing this time x minus 2 divided by First, I will multiply both sides with 2. So, x minus 2 will become 0 times 2, 0. 2 times minus 2, minus 4. Then I will write multiply with 2. So, denominator 2 will be over. Minus 3 plus root 5. And here I will be writing minus 3 minus root 5. Now, only need to add both sides. 2 so that x will be coming out that would be our answer x equal to 0 plus 2 2 minus 4 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 so i will write minus 1 plus root 5 and if i will add 2 here then i will be having minus 1 minus root 5 and all four solutions are real values and this brings the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching friends. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.